Hey everyone, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a bow necklace. Um, it basically looks like this, but with chain hanging down, it looks very, very cute. You can get these bows in a pack of three for one dollar at Hobby Lobby, and you could get um bigger. I could show you, and you could get bigger ones like this for two in a pack for a dollar. So, but these are harder, so you have to get you have to get this down before you could probably do this because it's a little bit trickier. And yeah. So, the items that you're going to need are chain that fits the neck that you're making it for. Um a clasp either a there's several different types of clasps but a lapser and a taggo clasp are my favorite and um jump reins for jump reins you're gonna need three to four jump reins the reason why either one it's because this chain as you see by the holes they're not as big and usually people like chunky, chunky, chunky necklace, necklaces. It's their opinion on their chain size that they get. It, um, your lobster class might not be able to fit through it. Like there's thinner chains that I have in this. So you just want to see what kind of chain you have. And as I said, either this bow or this bow or any other bow that you can find. I bet Michaels has on, but not the same. Not, yeah, but not the exact ones. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I just made it dark. I'm so stupid. Okay. And um, as you can see, this one, it has a fabric loop. And this one, it has strings as a loop. You want to see if Whatever wraps around it is able to fit a jump ring through it. My attempt. Okay, it's just going to be as this dark. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is take your jump ring and open it up. Oh, you're also going to need jewelry pliers. So you're going to take your jump ring and open it up. Um, I'm only going to teach you once on how to open a jump ring. So you're going to put both pliers on each side. And do one forward and one backward. It should open up something. Then you're going to put your lobster clasp through and the first link of your chain through. Close it up. Which you do the same exact thing, but going opposite directions. What I like to do is squeeze down. Just making sure that's secure. So your lapster clasp is connected. And I already added my other um, chain link through. And... this on okay so anyway I'm not gonna put this on but an easier way to get find the middle is put your clasp on and put your clasp on and then just connect it so then you can find the middle easier like that but let's just do the bow part first so you're gonna take your bow which I'm gonna be using this one today I am going to be doing a tutorial later um, about that one you're gonna take your jump ring Long jump ring. And you're going to open it up. I suggest getting a 9mm because usually 6mm don't really fit so well because they're not as um, small. So get a 9mm jump ring. And you're just going to try to wiggle. You're just going to try to wiggle your jump ring through that fabric.
as I see you have that there. And you're gonna close it up. Okay, so you have that. Then the next thing you're going to do is find the middle of your chain, which I'm going to do it on a surf on the surface because it's easier for me to find the middle other than in the air. So you're going to take your jump ring and find the middle link. And while the jump ring's open, I'm going to put that link through, if I could get this through. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it exact or your bow won't be in the middle. And then while it's still open, you're going to put the, the first jump ring that we used. Then you could close it. So you're going to take your two pliers and do the same exact thing. Then you're closing it. I just opened it. So then you have your completed bow necklace. Um, I might be redoing this and do it in better depth, like better lighting. Like this will be like the perfect light. I mean, really, why did you have to do this to me, lamp? Make it dark, yes. Okay, so anyway, this is what the bow looks like, and it looks very, very cute. And if you're wondering why we put two jump rings is that it will stay still on your chest other than like that eh. sideways whatever but anyway that's how you make a bow um necklace and i'll put another source down below which is so craftastic on how to make a bow necklace um <coughs> she is one of my best subscribers for um, all three of her channels I'm subscribed to, you should go subscribe to her. And it also gives you good information on how to make this bow necklace. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out So Craftastic. I'll put the link, um, I'll put her channel name down below. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!